This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. While cattle prices fell dramatically since 2014, premiums began to make up much more of the total animal value. The impact of the quality premiums have gotten far more significant. Uh, they're, a, they're a bigger percent of the total animal value today. So uh, they, uh, the cattlemen need to be paying attention to that as we move into some of these different trading levels and, and different price levels of, of the importance level that, uh, that, that the, those quality premiums have in the marketplace. Even while 70% of the nation's fed cattle grade choice, McCulley says the incentive to produce it remains strong. I don't think cattlemen need to get concerned that there's going to be uh, uh, too much of a good thing out in the marketplace. Uh, we've not seen any slowing uh, of, of, the, of the spreads between the premium product and the commodity product. In fact, they're continuing to, uh, to separate. The Choice Select spread hit record highs in recent months, along with the premiums for reaching the certified Angus beef brand. Cattlemen need to be aware that, that really the, uh, the, the, this increase we've seen in the quality level of the herd is a, is a great thing as it relates to consumer demand, uh, but at the same time as we look at the, the you know, all grids and premiums that are typically paid on some sort of, uh, of uh, your value, your cattle's value relative to plant averages. So as plant averages have gone up, it's important for cattlemen to understand that they need to keep be keeping up with that pace because what was uh, maybe premium cattle five and ten years ago today might be just average cattle. And and, and so being able to, uh, to make sure that they're aware of where the trend is and keeping their herd in line to, uh, to make sure they're able to garner those premiums on the top end. Being profitable at the ranch level means taking into consideration all the maternal and end product traits when making genetic and management decisions. Uh, they've got to have a functional herd first, and it's about making sure they're, they're keeping in mind uh, all of the important traits around keeping that mother cow to where she gets bred and has a, is a good mother and, and, and raises a good heavy calf every year. But, but it's keeping quality in, uh, in, in, in that uh, equation as well, because uh, uh, keeping in mind the genetic decisions that we're making today uh, are going to be with us for a long time. Those, those females we're putting back into the herd, uh, we hope they're going to be with us 12, 14 years down the road in the impact. So never taking our eye off of that, uh, that consumer and, the, and keeping a level of, of uh, a focus on quality uh, as a balanced part of a management strategy for a commercial cow-calf producer. McCauley also says continuing to give beef consumers the product they want fuels demand. I'm Bob Cervera. Brought to you in part by the 65th Annual Eskridge Labor Day Rodeo, September 2nd and 3rd. If you love rodeo, mark your calendar right now for the 65th Annual Labor Day Rodeo in Eskridge, September 2nd and 3rd at 7 p.m. This is entertainment for your whole family, calf roping, steer mug and barrel racing and more. Now let's rodeo.